An Israeli policeman has sparked outrage after threatening a protester with the rape of his mother. At the weekly protest in Jerusalem, which also comprised the families of Israeli hostages in captivity in the Gaza Strip, a policeman was recorded as assaulting a protester and threatening him. I am going to rape your mom, the policeman was recorded as saying, according to Israeli media reports. The policeman was further caught calling the protester song of a bitch. Following the emergence of the incident's footage, the Israeli police's internal investigation department has launched a probe into the matter. In the second incident at the same protest, the policeman also assaulted an opposition party's lawmaker, and the incident is also under investigation. The Police Investigations Department, PID, said that it was probing the incident in which police officers allegedly attacked a protester in Jerusalem, and an officer was heard threatening him, and another one comprising attack of labor MK Nama Lazimi in Tel Aviv, according to the Jerusalem Post newspaper. The paper further reported that the footage also shows policemen shoving protesters on the hood of police cars. Following the reporting of incidents and the launching of investigations, the police said that the policeman's conduct at the scene is not in line with the norms of discourse and conduct expected of every policeman, as per the paper. Police acted like it's a totalitarian regime, says Labour. Following the assault of the Labour MP Lazimi, the party said that the police acted as if it's a totalitarian regime. Labour leader Yair Golan said on X, formerly Twitter, that the violence towards Lazimi and the protesters in Jerusalem was crossing a red line and is alarming and reminiscent of totalitarian regimes. This is exactly what the politicization of the police by the criminal and terrorist supporter, National Security Minister Idamar Ben Gvir, looks like. The role of the police is to protect the citizens and not to be a private militia of a convicted criminal and beat citizens and members of the opposition," said Golan, mentioning Itamar ben Gvir, the far-right national security minister of Israel in charges of internal security. On her part, Lazimi slammed the police for their comment that the policeman intervened because she was preventing the confiscation of a mobile phone of a protester. In a democratic country, the police can't confiscate a protester's cell phone simply because they do not like him, said Lazimi on X. Lazimi further wrote, There are laws in Israel, and while there is no executive authority that will defend citizens in Israel, we will be their shield, and you will not prevent us from fulfilling that duty.